guess, because it's an item, so it like should be better. <laughs> but I'm, it's gonna have more range for sure. It's gonna have more range, but I feel like it also has more end lag on it too. True. You can't angle it. Yeah. Oh well. Well, I haven't seen. I mean, this it makes her jab right better now. because honestly, like. The one bad move that Peach has is her jab. Uh, probably nerfs her dash attack. Well, yeah, her dash attack too, but... Here we go. Both players just charging their respectable items, and we are off to the races. Push to the ledge. Only right, taking 31% along the way. Ooh, Rickmore jumping a little bit too high for that down there. We expect him ask Mario to... Uh, jump on the ledge. Again, there's the up air, up air, and yet again, you know, I know Master Mario loves to go for the fair if he can find it, but I feel like Void would be very, very much aware of how to get out of that combo, so opting to go for the guaranteed damage with an air, and yet again, Master Mario just throwing out all these moves, and you know what, eventually they'll hit and they'll connect and they'll string it together, so this is really going to come down to who can find their kill option first, and I'm afraid that Mario has way more options on the table for him than Sheik does. He's going to come in with that combo game, the S-Smash. It's really one hit, so it's not that, it's not as big of a commitment. It even has uh, some drift back to it, with some shifting of the hurt boxes, which really kind of messed, messed up a uh, void. Right. And I feel like the thing that Mario has over Sheik in terms of landing that forward smash is that he has that super deadly comboing up air that can almost force out an air dodge. Because if you don't air dodge, then you're going to get hit by the up air. And there's always that lingering threat right there. So I feel like Master Mario is able to kind of put Void in a situation that would make him want to throw out uh, a forward smash in order to punish it. Up smash. Wow, that's gonna put three stocks uh, for Master Mario to avoid one. Yeah, again, there's that fireball to landing grab. It's such a good option just because, you know, if you shield the fireball, then you get grabbed. If you don't, then you run away, then you get dash attack because you just run up behind it. But, oh my god, I love the plan right there. He gets hit with the grenade, but unfortunately, the explosion hitbox is not gonna come out quick enough. But that bear will. From Boyd, so good. He actually went and tried to um, try to pistol Master Mario below the ledge. I think we'll get it. I mean, I love all the guaranteed damage from Fair, but I feel like with Sheik and her recovery, uh, he can afford to go like and follow Mario down like below the stage two with a Fair or two, or even like in there, oh. like kind of chase him down there. Oh, the fastball needles. Only one, a single needle cut Master Mario, and it was the incorrect needle, needle to follow up. Oh, that was wrong choice. But here we go. Four tail into up air, but not going to be a fine. But manages to catch the air dodge. And, you know, it gets the landing grab into up throw up air. Or four throw up air. But yet again, finds all these up airs, but kind of staled at this point. Not going to be enough to kill him. But oh my god, that forward smash will do it. No, knowing that. Boy's gonna throw out a hitbox, not spaced properly, and then yet again, like what you were saying earlier, kind of was spaced properly. <laughs> it was spaced properly, but the lean back from the F smash, yeah. just shifting the hurt box enough to force the down tilt to whiff. Yeah, that that whole like lean back. Yeah, lean back. Give him the fat Joe. Yeah. Think long or how hard about this one. All right. Stage definitely played a factor in this game. We saw a lot of platform resets from Master Mario, which was just extending the damage. Right. Um, it's a little bit more dangerous when those it was those side platforms because that threat of forward air was always lingering, and we know how much Mario's and Master Mario love to go for that option. The funny aerial, that forward aerial. Oh my god, yeah. But I like the switch to uh, Smash Hole just because Void still gets his combos. Uh, and yet again, all of his combos are mainly horizontal rather than vertical, so he doesn't really need the the high platforms on Town and City. So yet again, I feel like this would help Void out in the combo game a lot. Baits out the up B and yet again gets a small punish off of it. And the trying to come out from Void, get the drag down up there. 
Ooh, even getting the tech chase with down air. Continuing to chase Master Mario all over Smashville. No, I am so surprised that he couldn't punish up till. Like, up till, I would imagine, would be probably one of Sheik's, like, more laggier moves. And Mario cannot grab it. There was not enough end lag on that move for him to grab it. And that's... I, I don't know what to say. Like, that... For the amount of pressure that Sheik has, you no, know, her one problem is that she can't kill. Like, if you, if you gave Sheik, like, a good, like, combo, like, kill thing, not like a 50-50, but like an actual, like, kill that... Kill confirm? Yeah, like an actual kill confirm. No, it's not something that, like, happens at, like, 160% with the four, four tilt up air. But, like, something that happens, like, a little bit earlier, like, maybe, like, 110-ish, like, 110, 120-ish. Like, she would be instantly high tier. I mean, Void, make, make, Void makes her look high tier, but I feel like at this point in the game, in this stage of life, she's probably, like, solid mid tier. And I feel like that's where most characters lie. Like, they're good, they have tools, but they're not super oppressive. But I feel like she does have those, con those types of conversions. I mean, you get a, you push, there's, it's no secret that Void is, or she in general is really good at just kind of moving their opponent around the stage, you know, really bullying them off stage. And they're able to convert with needles and developing goods. They have that off hand. Right there, you see, there's that down air into up smash that I was talking about earlier. Yes. It's a little bit more difficult for Sheiks to confirm off their drag down up airs uh, and resets, but the options exist. You know, you're about to make me eat my words because Void might be on his way to three stalking Master Mario at this rate. Okay, well, good use of the fireball. Mario's that love to approach with fireballs uh, really forces uh, their opponent to respect the, the approach or the recovery. And as you can see right there, we saw exactly why. And again, here comes the up air juggles, but I love that using the bouncing fish to escape and realizing that, okay, he's probably going to punish us. Let me land with a quick fares to catch that punish. And yet again, all these up airs, how's he going to escape this time? But oh my god, that was super scary. He almost died right there. Yeah, a little bit more rage, and that actually would have been lights out on there. Very sad story for Void to lose a second stock just like that. But 104%, that's a good amount of rage. So that could actually work in Void's favor. Right? I mean, as, honestly, as long as he can hold on to his stock for as long as possible, you know, and assuming, like, even if he does die, like, as long as he doesn't get ladder combo and, like, died off the top to, like, enough to get, like, 10 or 20. But here he goes off stage, gets the uh, up B, but not going to be able to punish it in time. And yet again, here comes the combos from Master Mario. There's an up throw, up air, up air, fair. No, he's going to. He was looking for the fair, but yeah. you got to remember, Void, kind of, or King, kind of like Fox, has a lot of resources when it comes to the recovery game. You got bouncing fish, you use the double jump, you can be reversed with the needles. It's really difficult to tell when you should let a big commitment move like forward air rip. Like down tilt to back air. We saw a lot of mileage coming out from that tomorrow when you that, that type of conversion. What oh, was that? Both players are swinging for defenses, and you know what? I love how Void did not blink first. He held shield. He'd be like, okay, I know you're probably going to wait for the spot dodge, so I'm not. I'm not going to spot dodge. And Master Mario pulled the trigger and paid for it with his life. All right, so Void able to take a game, making the score even 1-1 one, one here in the Losers Finals. Here we go, back to Smashville. No, honestly, Master Mario was making a comeback. Like, he could have easily brought that three-stock comeback. But here we go, the Nair up air pressure. And yet again, there is so little end lag on that up air that he was able to just up air his shield and then just like drift away and like kind of run away before she could throw out anything to potentially punish it. But good set of combos coming out from both players, but Void on the losing end of it as he takes an additional 40 damage over Master Mario. That, that sliding up to is very, very good move from Master Mario. That covered a lot of space. Yet again, gets the grab. Or, oh, down throw. I love that mix up because, you know, most people would expect, oh, he's just going to forward throw me off the stage. So, gets the down throw DI mix up and almost gets a dare off of it. You know, if he was just a little bit more forward, then he probably could have gone it in. That would have definitely killed Sheik at 100. Very smart from Master Mario. Void is setting up a trap. 
for Master Mario with the bomb. And as Master Mario uh, committed to a second jump, he threw out an up air to clash with the explosion because it does act as a projectile. And yet again, landing aggressively with that dare, but you know, aggressive is what counts in this game because it kind of stuffed out Mario's approach options. But here's an Aaron to grab, and then I love that. Yet again, there's that aggression. You know, when the player wants you to air dodge, wants you to play super defensive, wants you to blink, Sheik and Void himself is saying, "No, I am not gonna. I'm not gonna blink and just stare down with the devil himself. I'm gonna swing for defenses and not gonna let my life snuff out like that." on the chase, continues to dash attack Master Mario and help back air. It's an arm move that can take stocks, but just not across stage. You see a forward throw and where's the flood? There it is. Oh, but sneaking in a single needle there to kind of just get him off center stage. But yet again, Master Mario reacting so superbly right there. And falling back air is going to catch Void at the leg once again. And again, I love all these back airs that Master Mario, like, he knows the exact timing which Void wants to get back up on stage. So throwing out the back air, kind of like, almost on instinct. We're seeing a bit of a reversal from game two, where uh, Void is sitting on his last stock already. Master Mario is still sitting in his first stock, very high percent. And again, quick near out of shield. Now Void really needs to find the stock, but I am amazed. It looked like he air dodged and still was able to up be like super early. Like he almost had no end lag from that air dodge. Yeah, it might have just committed to um, just like a, a jump air dodge. Because usually when like you, you hold a button and you, you air dodge, you do a directional air dodge and you yeah. have a million years of end lag on that. Every trade that Master Mario makes is going to be in his favor. The Void back in a little bit of damage, but able to break the combo with an up air, and the hot hands come out once again. I love how Master Mario just kind of throws these out because he knows he knows that Void wants to play the the super safe spacing. The the I'm not going to quite hit you, but if you rush in and attack me, I will hit you. And so when you have that disjointed forward smash, you know, it'd be like ha ha ha, catch these hands, you know. Part about those fans, more about what he needs to adjust here in game four. Three, All right, here we go, game four on Kalos. He gets the grab up throw there. And yet again, I, I love these small little bread and butter combos from Mario. And all this damage, opting not to go for the uh, forward air or the upbeat, you know, realizing that if he had extended, he probably would have overextended. And yet again, like you were saying earlier, does not want to get the reversal edge guard. Right, these platforms really look like they're going to be in Master Mario's favor. But Master Mario still continues to reset on these, these platforms and it's extending the combo. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the irony, you know. Usually, like, if you're getting up air juggled, you want to go to the ledge so that they have nowhere to go. Except that's the exact opposite place you want to go to on Kalos, because that's where the platforms are. Big comment coming out from Master Mario. It's going to give him a lead, a stock lead. Nair has to just poke. A lot of Nair's coming out from both players. Yet again, all these combos coming out from his cheek. Gets the bouncing fish, and yet again, he evens up the stock just like that. Void combos. They are back. Void combos. Dude, I, I love seeing Void Sheik. It is almost like a work of art in the making. Oh, it's definitely a ballet of attacks that's coming at you. You do not want to be on the receiving end. You even able to even up the stock. Just keep dragging down. He's not committing to the drag down of it. He's, in fact, going for the juggles and keeping Master Mario in the air. Right. Which is a move that like, he hasn't really been making. It's a bit of a... A departure from normal? Yeah. And again, you know, when you're up against a player like Master Mario, who is so aggressive but so tight with his uh, offensive capabilities, you know, you kind of got to mix up how you handle your advantage situation. Because, you know what? You got to mix up your offense in order to screw up their defense. Mm -hmm. Very true. 
Oh, going after that smash again, but we're gonna see a back throw. Is not going to be enough as Void expends the bouncing fish. Stuffs the second jump, but still vanishing to the ledge. And I love that. Master Mario just waiting for just a sign of movement. Because he knows that Sheik is probably going to like double jump from Legend Fair. Maybe Bouncing Fish. So just stuffing that out before he could even see the light of day. But oh, 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 big call out. Up, rising up air on the shield isn't exactly the safest move. You can see the up smash coming out from Void. Playing the runaway game. I like it. This is the, the patient void that we typically see when, uh, you know, when Dark Void starts to approach. All right. This is the void that realizes that this could potentially be his last game. He needs to really turn it up. And yet again, he has the edge guard, he has the ledge trap, waits for the roll on stage, gets it with the board tail, and yet again, all these extended combos, but yet again, just gets grabbed out of it. He's grabbed right out of that second jump for it to recover. He's going to be able to roll back on stage. Uh, Masmar not really ready to cover that option. He gets a couple of drag downs, but a oh, big F smash whiffs, punches the whiff up air. Yet again, both players are playing on fire right now. You know, it's just who can find their little combo first, but gets the air dodge, but no, he's not going to punish it, but he gets the parry, and yet again, he doesn't punish that again either. Yes, Spaghetti just dropping those combos. You got to land those conversions. They, they are so framed. You have to be almost frame perfect with these conversions, which right. is the Okay, pivot, up smash gonna land. Oh, reach him with that down air, does not connect. All right. You know, with Ooh. both players at super high percent, you're seeing the more rolling options, the more susceptible defensive options, and yet again, all it comes down to is who blinks first in the face of adversity, and yet again, that forward tail to up air. Yet again, Void did not spaghetti that one, and that was the one that counts to bring it to a game five. And he even used, expanded the second jump and committed to the up air right away just to push Master Mario a little bit closer to the top um, to the top zone. I mean, you could definitely tell towards the end of the game, both players were super scared about the approach option. You see Master Mario opting to use air dodge, which is something that he really rarely does in this advantage because he realizes that if when you air dodge, if they guess your air dodge, you could die. So yet again, you could tell that Master Mario was really fearing losing that game when you started air dodging like fairly consistently uh, out of combos. Okay, game five. Couldn't have seen this set going any other way. And now we are here at Town and City, which I believe the last time we were here, it actually went in Master Mario's favor. All right. Well, I mean, it is Master Mario's counter pick, so why not go back to a stage you've already previously won on? True, and just thinking about the characters that we have on screen, probably Battlefield was banned along with probably FD. I think Pokemon. I think Pokemon. And again, all these custom combos, but yet again, Master Mario showing that he has combos of its own. And I love that. You know, Void could have gone super aggressive with the fair, but obviously, no, I'm going to land on the ground first. And when you try to approach me, then, then I'll throw out my attack. That was a good mix of cross up, down air. But Void was able to DI it correctly. Very wise to the situation with that back air. Getting so much mileage out of Master Mario able to clean up a stock. Again, there's the forward throw or forward tail up air. And yet again, that platform caught him on the tech chase. And he guessed right. And he was rewarded with the kill. And we are back to even stocks. This is basically Smash 4 again. We were talking about it versus Void versus Chag. But really, platforms like this can really reward both these players. Um, we just saw how Void is going to abuse them in his favor if he gets the opportunity. All right, now you see both players kind of slowing the pace of the game down to a crawl a little bit, because they realize that all they need is that one bread and butter opening in order to open up explosive damage. Crowd is popping off right. for Masamara. They want to see their boy make it all the way to Grand Finals for the run back against Raza. Void, oh! Oh, he punished that big up smash. Yeah. He wanted the kill. He wanted the roll in, but not going to be able to find it. Boy, just waiting on the ledge a little bit. Gets blown by the water right there. And yet again, opting to change how he gets back on the stage, realizing that he's been stuffed out by that back air so many times throughout the set. Catches the air dodge and yet again whisks the needles. And that would have been death because that would have been needles bouncing fish on that far off stage with that much rage. Yeah, but the effort does the Forward tilt does connect, and we see a tray that goes to Master Mario. So he's using a grenade. He's going to put pressure on Master Mario, and another back air does land. All right. So 
Ooh, Master Mario was looking for the jump, and you know what? I love how he didn't just pull the trigger on the side of any movement. He waited for him to see, like, okay, what option did you pick, and let's see if I can punish it afterwards. He's setting up the ledge, but another back air is going to sneak in for Master Mario. Nice. There we go. There's an air. There's the forward tilt. Again. Oh, my God, no! Not like this! A multi-hit of the up B. Oh my god, that is a heartbreaking moment for Void right there. Took his money and just straight robbed him of game five. On, on, honestly, when I saw a character go flying, I thought for sure that was Master Mario getting flung like getting like stage spiked by the Nair. But no, it was the up it was the other way around. I I was bamboozled, and apparently so was Void. And even Master Mario was just like, yeah. I kind of cheesed that out. Oh well, we take those. You gotta, you gotta use your cheese to your advantage. Yep. Just about every character in this game has some type of cheese. So you gotta make it your own. Yeah. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it the the Gouda cheese, or is that it? was not Gouda? No, oh, that was not that Gouda. Was definitely not the Gouda. Oh. Wolf. That, that was Gouda. that was the, that was the stinky cheese. That was some blue cheese. That right was some. There. Oh yeah, that was that was the cheese that's been like. 